almost finished, Tabner. These storage bins ought to hold enough goodies to last you the whole winter. <clears throat> Wake up, Abner. <laughs> it's not time to hibernate yet, Abner. Hold the plank for me, will ya? Of course, we still have to find enough food to fill these with. Oh. Come on, Abner, get with it. Remember what happened last winter when you went looking for a midnight snack? You don't want that to happen again, do you? Mmm, honey. Uh, um. oh, oh, no, no! Hi, Dad. Hi, Pop. Can we help? Uh, thanks, Buttons. But this is grown-ups kind of work. It, uh, takes a lot of skill. Oh, no! Ouch! No! Oh, oh, you. Are you okay, Abner? Yow! <laughs> Hey, Pop, if you need us, we'll be outside. Where should we play, Rusty? Hey, Buttons, remember that old cabin we saw down in Wild Turkey Valley? Let's go explore it. Yeah. But didn't it look kind of scary? No, come on! And where might you two be off to? Oh, just over to Wild Turkey Valley. Well, don't stay too long. Yes, Mom. And see if you can find some more berries. We're almost there now, Buttons. <laughs> Wild turkeys. <laughs> but not just any wild turkeys. Marty and Priscilla. Oh, it's you. Oh, hi, Buttons. Hi, Robins. Hi, Rusty. Say, aren't you guys flying south for the winter? <laughs> Turkeys don't fly south, silly. <laughs> no? Well, what you doing? Well, looking for grub. But so far, we've only found a handful of cranberries. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, want to come with us and explore the old cabin? Oh, uh, well, I don't know, Rusty. Ma said... Oh, Marty, it sounds like fun. Well, okay. Come on, it's not fun at all. That's good. Oh. Look at this, everybody. <laughs> How does it look? <laughs> Golly, this stuff in here must be a hundred years old. <laughs> Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> now that's what I call a funny hat. And look, people with feathers. And, and fur. Gee, what a beautiful morning. So quiet and peaceful. I guess I ought to keep my eyes on the traffic. Strange. This is a mighty unusual place to find any traffic. Especially a big truck like that one. I'll bet Ranger Jones would know all about those people. Yeah, let's go find him. Come on. <laughs> Wait up. Buttons, aren't you forgetting something? Oh. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Hold it. Here's the logging road. Yeah, gotta look both ways. Hey, aren't you guys 
coming? Uh, I think we better be getting back home. Mama and Papa don't like us to leave Wild Turkey Valley. Uh, uh, okay. See you later. So long. So long, Rusty. Bye, Buttons. We sure had fun. <laughs> I don't know, but it gave me a funny feeling in the pit of my tummy. Ooh, come on, Buttons. Let's get across before that thing comes back. The way I figure it, that big truck must have been hauling supplies to the lumber camp. And the driver decided to take a shortcut. Now, what's all this about a book? Hmm, a child's primer of American history. Hmm. Why, it's a story about the first Thanksgiving Day. You want to hear it? Uh-huh. Well, it happened close to 300 years ago, when the pilgrims came to settle in the New World. Uh-huh. Oh. oh. Now, that first year, they had a hard time living off the land. They didn't know for sure which crops to plant, for one thing, and for another, winter came earlier than the pilgrims expected. So... Children, you'd best go pick a turnip for the soup. Aye, Mother. Uh, that must be a mighty big one. Uh, let me help. Yes, the pilgrims had a lot to learn about the new world. For instance, they knew nothing about the strange folk who watched them from the forest. Then, one day... We'll bring thee home more firewood than we can use, Father. Fine buttons, but don't thee stray too far into the forest. Yes, for there may be Indians about. Don't worry, Father. We know it's our way. But the young pilgrims weren't long in the woods before they made a startling discovery. Ha! Kitu! Help! Run! Not surprisingly, the two youngsters were afraid. And not surprisingly, they quickly lost their way. deeper and deeper into the forest. And then... Run, Rusty! Totu? Totu! Totu Kitu! Kabalolo! Something about the young Indian made them trust him. And when he led the way, they followed. How many hours passed? <sighs> Buttons! The blizzard, it's over! <sighs> but where's our new friend Kitu? Kitu Wasa! Gawa! Meanwhile, the Pilgrim Youngsters folks were anxiously searching through the forest. And, fearing the worst, their first thought when they saw the Indians was that the youngsters had been captured. Abner, do something! Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Now you listen to... Wait, Father! Kitu saved our lives! They've come to help us! They have? And from then on, a friendship between the Indians and the Pilgrims flourished.
watch just like I'm shot. We've got togetherness and we're all That's one version of how the first Thanksgiving came about. Gee, did I dream all that? I think Thanksgiving's a terrific idea. Let's tell our folks. Maybe we'll have a celebration, too. Bye, Jonesy. See you soon. Ah, those cubs. Do you have to love them? Oh, boy, I can hardly wait to celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. Maybe we should invite Priscilla and Marty, too. Marty! Priscilla! I wonder where they went. Priscilla! Marty! Priscilla! We have to help them escape. Come on, Buttons. Marty! Priscilla! Buttons? Rusty? Over here! What's going on here? We don't know. We're just scared. Don't worry. We'll get you out of here. And all your pals, too. Nice going, Rusty. Hey, Joe. Shh, quick. He's coming back. <laughs> Head for the ranger station. Yeah. Ah! What do we do, Rusty? Yeah, what do we do? What do we do? There has to be a way to get this gate open. Oh, Marty, can you spare me one of your tail feathers? Sure. Take your pick. Ouch! Thanks. Almost got it. Hurry, Rusty. I think they're coming. Hey, Joe. I think I heard that last trap go off. Oh, hurry, Rusty. They're coming. Oh, dear. There it is. Got it. Huh? Hmm. Boy, that was close. You can say that again. We better go tell Jonesy right away. Yeah, he'll soon put a stop to those turkey trappers. They're getting ready to move out. But Mom and Pop are still in there. And all our friends. There's no time to get Jonesy now. We'll have to set them free ourselves. You two wait here. Come on, Buttons. We have to do something fast. Uh oh, we've been spotted. Run, buttons! Hey, get me! Let's go, darn it! What do we do now, Rusty? We hide. There's no time for the traps now. Use this. Slim pickings this year, huh, Abner? Hmm? Oh. Ugh, yep. Real slim, George. Maybe we'd have better luck on the other side of the hill. Oh, looks kind of steep. Uh, look, why don't we split up? Good idea. We'll meet back at the cave. Now, dear, did you invite three dozen turkeys, one bear cub, and one small fox over for a visit? No. No, neither did I. So what's the big idea, wise guys? Oh, don't pay us any mind. We're just passing through. Forward! <sighs> I think we lost them, Rusty. Where to now? See, I know a perfect place. Follow me. Mom? Pop? Good. No one's home. Over here! Uh, there, that's everything.
everyone. You all okay? I'm okay. Okay. Okay, Rusty. Okay. Okay. Okay, I said okay. 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 We'll be back just as soon as we can. Don't make any noise and stay put. Okay. Boy. <sighs> all this gathering nuts and berries sure takes it out of you. <sighs> Bridget? Rosie? George? Guess I'm the first one back. Maybe I'll just take oh, 40 weeks before the others get home. Tui! Oh, it's kind of crowded in there now. I I'll try the other bin. two men in a big truck and they were kidnapping all the wild turkeys in the forest that's mighty strange you won't let him get away with it will you jonesy no siree i'll get to the bottom of this right away ranger control this is jonesy calling now you two better get on home before it gets dark ranger control this is ranger jones come in mm. snack time mm. honeycomb yep Oh, don't find another place. There's no time to argue. No, Let me in. in. Ouch. Ugh. Well, where am I? Hmm. Guess I was dreaming. Well, sure am hungry, though. Yeah, maybe I'll grab a little snack. Yeah, a little honeycomb to hit the spot. Huh? <laughs> yeah! It's only a dream. No! Hey, wait a minute. Those turkeys are raiding my winter food stores. Hey! Try to swipe my goodies, would you? You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> I wonder what Abner's been doing all this time. And stay out! Abner, what on earth's going on? Bridget, George, am I glad to see you! I hope we aren't too late! Oh. 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 Marty, Priscilla, wait! What happened? A bear, a big fat bear grabbed me. That was just my pop. Your pop? Your pop? Your pop? It was? He sure wasn't too friendly. Come on, let's get back to the cave before those two men find us. I guess those turkeys are all gone now. But there were hundreds of them. <laughs> Must have given you quite a fright, Abner. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought it was so funny, George. Oh, no. They're back! Don't worry, Mom and Pop. They're our friends. Friends? Those wild turkeys? Those crazy birds all but attacked me! Well, you frightened us! You see, Pop, there are some men out in the forest who tried to capture Marty and Priscilla. Only we set him free. And now we have to make sure the men don't find them again. Oh, so that's why they were hiding in the food bins. But, Buttons, dear, how can we possibly look after all these turkeys? They'll eat us out of house and home in one day. Oh, but it won't be for that long. Ranger Jones is gonna fix everything. He'll take care... They've filmed us. Hurry! We have to hide the turkeys. They're right, dear. We have to. Hurry! Marty! Priscilla! Come on! Don't make a squeak! All right, folks! They're here! Folks, you can relax now. Oh. Just in the nick of time! And those men were right outside the cave! Boy, that... Yeah. 
It's all right, folks. These men are from the Wildlife Conservation Society. You see, there wasn't enough berries, corn, and other food to last the winter in Turkey Valley. So the society felt it'd be best to move the wild turkeys over to the next valley. Where there's plenty of food. Well, I'll be. Gee. So you see, they weren't your enemies after all. They're the wild turkey's best friends. Just like the Indians in the Thanksgiving story. Well, let's not keep your friends waiting. <laughs> What a relief. Bye, Marty! Bye, Priscilla! <laughs> so long, Rusty! See you in the spring! Bye, Jonesy! And thank you! It was nothing! Say, why don't you folks come over to my place tomorrow and help me celebrate? Can we? I don't know why not. And so, my friends, I propose our Thanksgiving toast. May every heart be filled with joy. May love and trust hold sway. May life feel wonderful to every girl and boy and animal. On this Thanksgiving Day. Happy New Year!